what message you're hoping to send to Governor Walker and Heritage Foundation? Well, you know, we're sending a message to Governor Walker that uh, the actions he took last year, early, early this year, were unacceptable. But even more importantly, we're telling the Iowa legislature, and particularly Governor Branstad, that we want to see workers in this state treated fairly. We want to see we want to see uh, the state government of Iowa begin to stand on the side of the people and stop um, doing. I mean, the worst stuff is happening in Washington and at Wall Street, of course. But we got plenty of plenty of examples here where state government is giving away our tax dollars to big businesses, um, creating policies that, that that affect small business owners, that hurt family farmers, that hurt working people, and, and we just uh, we're tired of that. Uh, Governor Walker is probably the most egregious example, and that's why it's right for us to be out here and letting him know how we feel. But we got to make sure that we don't see the same kind of policies take root here in Iowa. Um, are you expecting to have to play some defense, uh, or Democrats will have to play some defense in the legislature against some of these things that we've seen in Wisconsin? Oh, probably. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think there was some of that happening last year, and uh, there's no doubt that. Uh, while at the times some of us may be dissatisfied with how, how aggressive our Democratic uh, representatives are on certain issues, yeah, it was certainly, uh, you know, certainly Mike Gronstall did a good job at blocking any of the Wisconsin-type anti-labor, anti-worker legislation last year. Um, how many Occupy Des Moines members are, or uh, demonstrators are out here? Here? Uh, it's hard to count because they're all mixed in with uh, members of lots of different labor unions. Um, I know we get at least 100 to 250 people at every event that happens, so I'm guessing there's somewhere in that range. How is that going? How is camping out going as it's starting to get a little bit chillier? It's not bad. You just get a couple good sleeping bags, or at least even one good sleeping bag, and you're okay so far. <laughs> uh, how long do you imagine you'll be out there? I don't know. It's took, um, it took uh, Wall Street quite a long time to occupy Congress, and we'd like to see them leave <laughs> soon, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, their their campaign connections are deep. Uh, their lobbyists are well paid. Uh, their influence is, is still resulting in a greater and greater concentration of wealth at the top. We may, this movement is just starting. It's, uh, it's starting, it's going to keep going, and I think it's going to keep going until something significant happens and we have real change in this country. Do you think uh, there's enough visibility in your current location or do you think you'll be doing some more demonstrations or kind of what's we'll be yeah we'll be doing a lot more activities um, individual events some um, broader campaigns uh, that location is important because it demonstrates our commitment when people are willing to set up uh, basically their lives in a public park uh, camp in a park especially in cold weather uh, it shows commitment, it shows dedication, it, it, it should send the message that we are here for the long haul, we're not going away, we're occupying this space until we can get we can get uh, Wall Street uh, out of Congress and, and uh, begin to have policies that actually reflect the needs of American people. Anything else? No.